Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Raspberry Pi and uh, it's uh, a basic introduction. What is a Raspberry Pi? How it works? And in in the videos that I make after this, I'll be taking you through a, a few use cases of using Raspberry Pi for Internet of Things. Uh, yeah, I would uh, be giving you the code also which would be used and taking you through videos of how to set up the Raspberry for those uh, IoT use cases, okay? So, now uh, this as you can see is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B and uh, along with this I have also, uh, I have also uh, purchased uh, the official case for uh, the Pi, okay? Now, uh, what is the Pi? It's a very small footprint computer. It can do everything that a computer can do. And as you can see, it's like really small. It's really small, okay? Uh, uh, it can be used for multiple, multiple things. Uh, one of the predominant uh, reasons for this being made by a UK-based company was, uh, uh, was to ensure that education or computer education to be very specific can be uh, percolated down to the underprivileged because this is so inexpensive. This would cost you less than $35 in the, in the States. Uh, and... Uh, and to ensure that, uh, you know, as I said, education can reach even the most underprivileged. But at the same time, it has immense use when it comes to doing any POCs, uh, when it comes to, you know, creating your basic models and trying them out, when it comes to Internet of Things especially. So what we would be doing in later in the, in the video series is that we would be creating uh, sensors. We'll be using sensors. Uh, temperature sensors and motion detection sensors and uh, streaming that data into a Pi and from this Pi you can stream the data onto your machine or on the Pi itself you can use uh, Docker engine to run different uh, applications and and uh, visualize the data okay so do data analytics so uh, we go ahead and talk about uh, what exactly is a Raspberry Pi so it's a a small footprint computer it is uh, so it's a, it's a soc machine which means system on the chipset so your chipset integrates the different parts uh, that are used to make computer within a same chip okay the chip that's used is a broadcom uh, bcm2837 it has a, the cpu is a four core or quad core ARM Cortex uh, CPU which is uh, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, ARM is your advanced uh, RISC machine. RISC is the reduced infrastructure set computer. Uh, that That's a separate uh, topic but you can go and check that. Uh, it uses uh, one uh, gig of RAM DDR2 which is clocked at 900 megahertz um, and the rest of the things we have both the wireless as well as Bluetooth and it uses a micro SD card um, uh, now, okay, wait, let me get back the video and, uh, okay, let me get back the video and let me actually un unbox uh, the Pi so you get an idea. So this is what comes in a box. So you have the Pi and you have a couple of manuals. The manual, there's a quick start guide uh, of not much use and then you have a, a safety guide which again, uh, you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is not of uh, much use. We put them aside. Okay. Now this is this is the Pi. Okay. So uh, just uh, look at look at what what uh, uh, this slide says, and, and maybe you can correlate. I'll go to the next slide here, so that we get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. Cool. So you see. This is, this is the Pi and these are the various uh, uh, parts of a Pi. So uh, if you go back, uh, the important thing is the SOC, which is the system on chipset, the integrated chipset, and this is, this is uh, the uh, integrated chipset that we have, the Broadcom chipset. Then uh, RAM, GPU, CPU, fine, networking, okay, Bluetooth, storage. For storage, we use, we have to use a, a, a card, a micro SD card, and there's a slot in which the micro SD card would fit. The card would fit in only one direction, so you need not worry about uh, with what direction to put it in. It goes in like this and fits in perfectly, okay? You have USB slots, we have the uh, we have the HDMI slot, the video audio jack, uh, and uh, uh, the, the, the power input, uh, uh, the power input slot here. Now the, the, the great part about this is that, uh, in the power input, uh, you can use any of your Android chargers and it would fit in. You don't need to purchase a separate charger. The HDMI cable you can use 
any one that you're currently using you don't need to purchase that separately so those advantages are there now the important part that i want to talk about is here these are the the gpio uh, you know 40 pin um, uh, general purpose input output uh, uh, module now these are the pins that are used to connect to your uh, uh, you know internet of thing devices or sensors and transfer data from the sensors into the pi how you can do it is uh, uh, let's say you have a, a temperature sensor okay uh, you can use that temperature sensor and maybe uh, you'd have to use a resistor with that and uh, you, you can get some uh, I think uh, uh, cables uh, to, to connect from um, the, the uh, the IoT devices into your uh, into the Pi and then uh, we can transfer that data from the Pi into uh, software like the Elk stack or using Prometheus and Grafana on the Docker engine to then visualize that data okay so I would be taking you through that entire process in the coming videos and also share the code which would be using Python code or PHP code for uh, getting those things done okay now uh, as I talked about, uh, this is very clear. I think this is self-explanatory. Uh, you have uh, these uh, different options here, which we saw. There's a Ethernet port. There are four USB ports, HDMI. There's a camera connector in case you want to connect a camera, your uh, you, the the chipset and uh, the GPU headers and all. Okay. Uh, what would you require to run a compute uh, com complete uh, computer using uh, Pi, a Raspberry Pi? You would need a monitor or TV. Your existing TV would work. Uh, it should have a HDMI slot. You need a HDMI cable. You need a keyboard, USB keyboard, a USB mouse. In fact, uh, when it comes to keyboard and mouse, you can, once you set it up, you would not even need these because you can uh, SSH into your Raspberry Pi machine and and use it from your own existing laptop or or desktop you require a power supply any existing Android power supply would would work and you need a uh, SD card which has minimum 8 gig okay now the what you see here the diagram is of a is a noob operating system noobs operating system which is new out of the box uh, and new out of the box software uh, that uh, needs to be installed or uh, copied into your uh, micro SD card the first time you uh, pull it into the pie and the first time you boot up the pie okay and uh, and this uh, the last diagram here is a diagram of a of a sensor uh, that we would be using along with the pie this is a pie the raspberry pie here you can see your temperature sensor this is a ds18 uh, b20 it's a temperature sensor which passes all the information using uh, just uh, one leg of its you have a uh, a uh, resistor uh, this uh, we'll be using the 4k7 um, resistor here a 4k7 ohm resistor and this is your uh, this is the, the breadboard uh, that you would be using for uh, connecting these devices together and you have the the jumper cables uh, uh, for uh, you know transmitting information from the bread box into the into the raspberry pi okay so as I said, this is this is a very very interesting topic, which is uh, which has uh, humongous uh, you know uh, uh, which would have humongous uh, uh, value in the future because most of the things are going to be connected you know as most of us know. Now I would also very quickly open up the the official uh, uh, Raspberry Pi box. This is how it looks. Okay, and uh, this is uh, you know these are different parts which are put together. They all can uh, you know they all can be taken apart it, they just uh, with these slots in which they fit into everything can be taken apart and you would see that the 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 pie fits into this perfectly so I, if you if you are purchasing a, a pie i would definitely suggest that you buy the official case and and not any other case with it because uh, you know this just uh, this just perfectly sits in you can see it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect match you put this on you uh, get these things sort of they all fit in these slots they would all fit in their slots and uh, the slots are made in a way where each and every you know slot is a perfect fit as you can see here so your SD uh, the HDMI slot and you have the the audio jack the power slot and uh, everything is perfectly and uh, you know uh, quickly snaps in and 
voila we have arguably the smallest footprint computer uh, that we know or smallest footprint commercial computer that we know as of right now okay this is cool this is really cool and uh, i think uh, uh, this is the future of how you can potentially do testing for your uh, IoT devices. Okay, so uh, thank you, thank you for hearing this video out. Wait for the next videos. Uh, I would be taking you through the entire uh, use case of creating uh, 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 IoT and complete life cycle using a Raspberry Pi. Okay, thank you and bye bye.